Oh yeah, it's coming. Yes, right. What's up? Oh, All right. One play. What is going on, everybody? How? are y'all doing before we get started with we have a couple of dope 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 gaming news items first give the video a thumbs up like 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 let's destroy that like button all right the first news item witcher 4 coming to the playstation 5 xbox series x PC next generation and it looks like eagle eye followers have narrowed down the launch date for this game this is coming from <coughs> comicbook.com and CD Projekt Red has just announced it will begin development of a new cyberpunk game Ooh, I don't know if anybody's looking forward to that and a new Witcher game for many next to Zelda Breath of the Wild Witcher 3 was one of the best games last generation I had the game both on my PlayStation and Xbox didn't finish it but there is gonna be a PS5 upgrade for 60 frames per second I might get on it when the upgrade for the PS5 comes but Witcher 4 um, according to the article, since they announced that they, they will begin w starting a Witcher 4 project in 2022 is when CD Projekt Red said they'll begin development for the next Witcher game. According to this article, if that's the case, it would mean Witcher 4 would be out in 2025 or 2026, the latest. So that's and i know do the same bro it's only 2021 but that's sooner than many have expected many were saying probably eight years from now we'll get the next witcher game if they're just announcing 2022 but um when you go back and track what they've done with previous witcher games 2025 looks like the target date for the next witcher 4 game according to this article i'm just here to report the news I would be here for a new Witcher game, even though now this is the thing though, CD Projekt Red have fallen out of good graces with many fans after the whole debacle with CD Pro with um, Cyberpunk, and so you better bet they're gonna have um, gameplay. They gotta they. They better release this game. Oh, that dude just got his head cut off. They better release this game with a demo. <laughs> Witcher 4, I'm calling it now, CD Projekt Red. Their next AAA game, they're going to have to release a demo before the game drops so dudes can see how the game runs. Now, by this time, 2025, I don't really see um playstation it probably coming out on playstation 4 xbox one this will probably just focus on next gen by this time because we'll be about halfway almost halfway through the cycle of next gen um so 2025 keep your eyes peeled for more witcher 4 info announcement by city project red just happened this past week bro what y'all are looking at right now is new gameplay footage of Resident Evil Village. That's right, IGN has got an exclusive gameplay of Resident Evil Village running on a PS4 Pro and I'm impressed with what I see. It's running at a smooth 60 frames per second. You see, you can see like the water physics, the reflections in this underground cellar. But <coughs> the game drops at the beginning of May. I don't know. I'm going to be on that Returnal by then. So 
I've never been real big on the Resident Evil games, but this one looks dope. This one looks dope. And what's of note is a new photo mode. A new photo mode that will be incorporated into the game and pictures of, you know who, your favorite Resident Evil Village character, the nine foot tall um, lady demon. They've been taking photos of her on the internet. We all know why. But Resident Evil Village, new gameplay. Look at the pump shotgun. Uh, the game looks dope. And so if you're a fan of the Resident Evil franchise, I think you're going to be pleased, pleased, pleased with the game and what they've shown so far. Bro, this next news item is crazy. Bro, y'all all know <coughs> Mario died five days ago. According to the internet, he's still alive. He's a fictional video game character. He can't die. But... Why people were saying this was a lot of Nintendo's 35th anniversary celebration, the games and all the things they had for it, were taken off of the internet only for a limited, limited time. Of note, Super Mario 3D All-Stars. You can no longer purchase this game and scalpers got busy, bro. They went at it as soon as this game got off the market. Right now... The game is going for $2,600 on the scalping market right now. And so scalpers are taking advantage of the situation. And you better believe people are going to be paying a lot of money to get their hands on this game. That's why Nintendo knows what they're doing. I haven't even touched this game yet. But I bought it just because I knew you could no longer get it after the 31st. And Nintendo got me, bro. Nintendo got me. And so the game right now is being sold for almost $3,000 on the internet. And you know people are going to be picking this up. Um, and at the 40th year anniversary, <coughs> these games will probably be back on sale. <laughs> and they tend to do the same thing. Rinse and repeat. All right. Next news item. And this one is well deserved. Outriders has now passed. Borderlands 2 and 3, um, Borderlands 2, and its third all-time and stream uh, and Steam concurrent users during its launch window. The only games that have um, done better in the looter shooter category than Outriders is Destiny 2 and Warframe, and so Outriders is off to a fantastic start, especially considering. This is an all-new IP from Square Enix. What did Square Enix do to convince us that the game was good? They launched a demo. The demo is what sold me on the game. The gameplay is just fantastic, bro. I tweeted this out on Twitter yesterday and got some dudes tight. I said, bro, Outriders is a better game than Gears, bro. The only thing I would say Gears probably has on this is the story. I haven't paid too much attention to the story in Outriders. But, nah, I sort of like the story better in Outriders too. But the gameplay, by miles, leaps and bounds better, bro. The gear customization, <coughs> the abilities of each character. I'm using the Trickster class right now. And it has um, some of the same mechanics as Gears, run, duck, cover. But this game's on a different level, bro. Gears can't touch Outriders, bro. <laughs> I've beaten every single Gears game. And this game is better. And this game was made by former Gears developers. So it makes sense. It feels like Gears. But a much better game. Bro! Add a PvP mode. Um, Square Enix. Outrider developer. People can fly. Add a PvP mode. That would be lit. That would be lit. And those are all the news items for this video, bro. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know, but before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out.
You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming Discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Peace.